welcome to week number four. This is the final. We got a lot of work to do today, a lot of repeating, and then instead of dragging you to the fifth week, we put the border all together with this particular week. You're going to notice is that we're going to do another crisscross, and the crisscross is three-dimensional in one direction and flat in the other. You're gonna see that happening within today's tutorial. I really enjoyed making this particular stitch. I thought it was really quite interesting, and once I got into the flow of it, it was actually pretty easy. We're also going to be experimenting with crisscross with single crochet, where the single crochet buries the first single crochet in a crisscross formation. You're gonna notice uh, when you start backing up these stitches, especially the last uh, few uh, rounds, is that you're gonna notice is that when they go one after the, uh, the other, it actually looks pretty cool. And I'm pretty excited about that. So without further ado, let's head on into the studio and let's get the stitch along together and get it. And let's proceed to week number four. In week number four, this is the final week. We have all the way from here to the edge to be done. It's a big week. So what we're going to do is we're gonna get ourselves established to do some crisscrossing. And once we get this established, do you see the blue line here? This is the final establishing of getting this concept. And then it's just the one row and then the same row and then one row and the same row. And you're going to notice is that this crisscross right here, 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 and here. That is the main crisscross itself. And you will see that five times before you get to the final. Uh, right here. So it's a nice easy repeating idea. I tried to maximize the colors when I did this and then finally we're going to do the final uh, few rounds in order to finish this thing off. So let's uh, move on and we're going to start with this row first and this is row number 39. In diagram format this is what it looks like and we're going to start off and we're going to start in your corner. You do your chain three, double crochet in, chain two and put two double crochet. So the corner will be done. You're going to start then crisscrossing all the way across and then your corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. The next row is going to get ourselves established in order to have the same concept and so you will notice is that it's going in between the crisscross it's in between posts it's not uh, there's no space there but we're going to force that in and then once we get to this row number 41 this is the main crisscross itself and i think you're going to have a lot of fun with this and so it's repeating of this row in this row so 41 and 42 and that will take you all the way to the final edge in order to do this so you'll repeat those over and over the 50th round is going to be the last time you're going to be doing that repeating and then you're going to do your back post like you normally would have done it before and then you have a single crochet crossover, do your double crochets, two single crochet crossovers which does a really cool look and then the final round is number 56. So let's start round number 39 first. Let's begin number 39. I'm already in the corner. If you're not there just start there and you're going to chain three and you'll double crochet into the same corner. And to turn, chain two, and two double crochet. So as I mentioned before, the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We are going to start the crisscrossing effect, and so you skip the first one out, go to the second, and crisscross. I prefer to crisscross on the back side. So the one that we skipped, I'm gonna just lean it forward and just double crochet in the one I skipped. And I've been doing this for years that I'd probably make it look easier than maybe it is, but um, you get used to it. So then when you start the next one, you're gonna skip the next empty, go to the second, double crochet over that one first, and then you're gonna come into the one you skipped. And I need you to do this all the way across, and then when you hit that corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and keep going so each one of the stitches in between the corners have this crisscross. Please do this all the way around for number 39. So I'm coming all the way to the last one here. Even if it's just coming up to one side, you'll come right to the very last stitch before you turn a corner. And because this is the last one, I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And also I'm going to slip stitch to the next corner to get myself ready for round number 40 next. And so that's what it would look like. Let's begin number 40. To begin number 40, you're going to chain three and double crochet into the same corner chain two and two double crochet. So the corners on this one will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And what you're looking for is the space in between stitches. So as you start out, you have these two, go in the space in between them and place in two double crochet. Now, 
see the crisscross? In between the crisscross there, there's technically not a space, but it's just between the posts and place in two double crochets in there. This is help keeping the texture apart from each other. So see the next crisscross is just jam two double crochets between the crisscross itself. And you're gonna do this all the way to the other side. Don't forget you're gonna have two lonely double crochets before the corner. Just place in your two double crochets before you do the corner and then you do your corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please do this all the way around for number 40. So when you come up on number 40, you've got those two lonely double crochets that are by themselves. Make sure you do place in your two double crochets between them. And then if you were on the other corners, just make sure you do your corners as normal. But I'm on the last one here, so I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. I'm going to slip stitch to the next corner, and then we're going to begin round number 41 next. As we begin 41 and 42, it is the repeat to take you all the way to round number 50. So let's begin 41 first. You're going to chain three and a double crochet into the corner. Chain two and two double crochet into the corner. Now you might find this stitch a little bit awkward. I did come up with it. So, um, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So you see how everything's in groups of two. Those are the two groups that you work with with, with, with with what you're about to do. And I want you to do a front post treble around the second one. So wrap twice and go into the second one around the front post. Okay. The one you skipped, you have to go in behind and that one's going to be a double crochet right into the stitch itself. And so technically only one of the stitches is going to be three dimensional while the other one sinks in behind. So the next group, see the two, wrap twice, jump over the first one, go to the second, front post treble. And then fill that one that you skipped, just come in from behind and just double crochet. Now somebody's gonna ask me, do you really need to go in behind? If you do your front post treble, like you're supposed to, and then put the other one here by accessing it from the front, that stitch work that I just crossed over with will disappear. So yes, it does matter. Okay, so make sure that when you're doing this, when you crisscross, the second stitch is always going to be behind. You're gonna do this right into the very corner that you'll end up with, and then your corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and you will notice is that you'll see the three-dimensional line going in this direction, like it very much did here, but this is a different stitch completely, and then in the next round that I'm about to show you is that you'll see how it stabilizes, and then you'll continue to do this, so 41 and 42 ends up being your repeat. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 41. So I'm coming all the way back around. I'm just doing my crisscrosses as you know it. And coming back. Okay, so this corner is already done because it's the one that we're coming back around on, but if it's a normal corner for you, make sure you do your two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. In my case, I'm just gonna join to the top of the first chain three. So now going to slip stitch to the next one. You can join a new color if you want to, to your corner. And we're going to start row number 42, which will be the second part of the repeat. Number 42 is just like you did it down here. The difference is, is that you're not crisscrossing in between two double crochet crisscrosses, but you're uh, going in between these uh, other crisscrosses that we did. So when we start, we're going to chain three and double crochet into the same, chain two and two double crochet and two there. So your corners on this one, like you did before, is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So like before, you're going to go in between the two posts to start, and you're going to place in two double crochets. So this round, whenever you're doing it, is pretty quick. So then here's your crisscross, so you're gonna jam it in between the crisscross like you did before. It's just a different a stitch below, but it's the same. It's still, just think of it as a crisscross. Okay, so you're just gonna put two double crochets in that. So you're gonna get to your next corner, and you'll have the two lonely double crochets that are by themselves. Make sure you put your two double crochets between those two before proceeding to the corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please repeat this around and I'll see you at the end of number 42. So I'm coming all the way around and I got my two double crochets that are not crisscrossed, so I still wanna put two double crochets between those two. And then in this case, it's the last um, before I finish. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. 
And I'm just gonna slip stitch myself to the corner. And now that I've showed you rounds number 41 and 42, you're going to repeat that until you end on a 50th round. And the 50th round is just the last round I just showed you. So you're gonna be able to count five sets of these. So count from this one. So this is one, so you'll have another one, two, three, four, and five. And then you'll finish with this um, two double crochets between the stitches like you had and then you're going to be ready then to proceed to round number 51. So please put me on pause now. Please do that. It's going to take you a while to get there but I'll see you back here in just a few seconds from now and uh, just put me on pause and I'll be right back in a moment to keep on going. For those ready to move on we're going to round number 51. So in round number 51 we are going to start off by going chaining of three and a double crochet into the corner and chain two and two double crochets into the corner. Now, each one of these stitches that you have are each gonna be a back post double crochet. So we've done this before. So you're gonna do this all the way to the next corner and the corners are unusual, but you have to trust the process and it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way around and I'll be back in a moment. This is round number 51. So I'm coming around on the 51st round, just my back post double crochets. And you already have the corner done, so you're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And I would slip stitch to the corner. Or if you're doing new color, then just join at the corner and go. So let's do round number 52. Round number 52, 54, and 55 are all the same. So I'll demonstrate it just once. You're going to chain one, and you're going to single crochet chain two, single crochet. That'll be your corner. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're now going to do a crisscross with single crochet that is special. You're going to skip the first one and go to the second. So you've just single crocheted. And right here is the one you skipped over. You're just going to go right into it. You're not going to separate it out from the stitch work and you're just going to single crochet in that and this causes that second one to overlap the first one and bury the first single crochet inside which thickens up the material so to do it again skip the next one single crochet the next and then go into the one you skipped you have to somewhat trust the process and so this is creating a crisscross that's overlapped and hiding the first crisscross inside or the first cross inside so skip one, single crochet the next, and go into the one you skipped and go right over, and you end up with these beautiful texture that is on the top. So you're gonna do this for rounds, this round, number 52 and 54 and 55. We're going to put in a double crochet round after this just to separate it out, and we're going to continue that. So please do this for round number 52, going all the way around and do your corners as I said. So I'm coming all the way around, I'm crisscrossing right to the corner. In my case, the corner is already done because I'm coming around. But if you have, but if you're on the other corners, then it will just be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and just join at the um, top of the first single crochet. Let's move on over and slip stitch to the corner. If you'd like to change the color, you can. So the next round, number 53. 53 is going to come up and you're just going to chain three and then double crochet into the same one, chain two, and double crochet twice. That's your corner, so two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You're just gonna start, and you can start in the first one. If you follow the legs, you see this is the first stitch, it almost gets buried, and you're just going to double crochet into each of the stitches over to the next corner. Corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You're going to repeat this then around. Okay, and so when you come back around, you're just going to go to the last one, join it with the chain three. Let's talk about 54, 55, and 56, which will finish off the stitch along. The three last rounds are again number 52, so it's a crisscross right out of the gate, as you see. So you have two rounds of that. See how these line up like this? It actually creates a really interesting look on the blanket itself. You'll see that happen with your, yourself. So the corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So you'll do two rounds of that. The final round, you're going to start off in the corner and you are going to chain three and put four double crochets into the same corner, the chain two corner. So the corners on the rest of them will be five double crochets in there. 
you're just simply going to apply one double crochet into each one of the stitches all the way across to the corner. Put your five double crochets in the corner and when you come back around you'll slip stitch and join and that will conclude your stitch along. So this is actually um, the ending here. There's a lot of repeating of stuff you already know and I think that you can have a great time doing it and we hope that you've enjoyed your stitch along and I hope to see your works in progress available to see on Facebook. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. So how are you making out? You probably have to get it done at this particular point. We would love to see your creativity on Facebook. Just post it on the Yarnspiration Stitch Squad. And we'd just like to see where you are in the journey in order to continue and see your work in progress or even better yet, your finished items. We hope you've enjoyed the summer and we'll see you next summer for the annual Summer Stitch Along. And I'm your host, Mikey, but we probably have some other stuff in between. You know that's right. Yeah.